Hey everybody, welcome back to Rob's shop. We got this 06 Chevy Silverado. Steering wheels, um, making a lot of noise. A lot of noise when turning, feels kind of sloppy. I looked at it, needs a steering shaft. We're gonna change the upper and lower and I'm gonna show you how to do it. I got an 11 millimeter on a 16 inch or 18 inch extension and it, it's able to squeeze right in there between those power steering hoses and we're able to get that bolt right out of there. So we were able to get that out. It was a little tight, but I had uh, put a little PB blaster on this pretty liberally the other day. So I think it had soaked in and helped me out a little bit. We'll try to pop it off down there and then we'll go up in the cab and start working on the other end. I'm just gonna use this long pry bar. I don't know if you can see it very well, but way down in there. Right there. We can start shimmying it off. All right, it's loose. Um, it has nowhere to really slide at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up in the cab and disconnect it, or I'm gonna disconnect it right here in the middle. So what I found out is the steering shaft, I think I gotta take this boot off and try to shove it down and then disconnect it in the cab. Uh, let's try that and see where we get. There's three little 10 millimeter nuts we'll take off. So I got the three nuts off and we'll just kind of slide this down. Now this portion of the shaft slides. So I think we'll be able to finish um, removing this bottom here. Just about got it. There we go. So that end is off. Right here above the brake pedal is our joint. We'll take that bolt and nut off right there and slide this end out. All right, so it's a little tight, but I'm in here. I got a 13 millimeter wrench on one end of the bolt head and the nut is a 15 millimeter. I got a ratcheting wrench on that. So we'll pop this out. All right, so we got the nut and bolt out and this thing is not very tight. We could just slide it out by hand, just like that. And we'll go back up under the hood and we'll yank the shaft right out. It takes a little bit of maneuvering, but I was able to take the whole thing out without splitting it in half. That joint wasn't so bad. I think a lot of times what happens is the grease in this slide dries up and it gets a little play and that'll cause noise. But what was mainly causing noise is this U-joint right here. Look how crusty that is. Yeah, check this out. Definitely needed replacing. So I got it here, I compared it to my new one. It looks like the exact same. Um, the older one was more aluminum. This has uh, Looks like cast iron or something. Oh, well, maybe it's aluminum. But we'll crack this thing in half. Just like that. Because we're going to need this bolt and we're going to need to take this boot off. So I got it split in half. I got the boot here. One thing I'm going to do is put a little like bearing grease in there just to kind of keep it so it's smooth. And just because I like to grease everything. 
might uh, prevent some noise or something maybe. Put a little bit on that end. And there's another spot kind of further in. I'll put a little grease in. I think I can reach it from this end though. Yeah. So one thing I did off camera is I installed this plastic bushing. The steering shaft kit that I got online came with a new one. Uh, here's the old one. It's kind of got like a little plastic bearing in there. I was able to, uh, well this has two little plastic tabs on it that slide up in. And all I was able to do is get a screwdriver on this edge and kind of pry it a little bit and it popped out and I just slid it out and slid the new one in. So it was pretty easy. It's a little tight in here, but it's doable. So what I'm gonna do is I put the boot on this upper shaft and we're gonna kind of fish that up in. Um, we'll get that connected and then we'll do the bottom shaft. Like that. What we'll do is we'll start one of those bolts and we'll go back up under the cab and try to get it connected. So we're back up under the dash. We'll try to get this shaft up in here. Just like that. I'm going to have to put the camera down and I'll get that bolt put in. So I kind of cleaned off the end of that, um, where that steering shaft nub sticks out. I cleaned that off. I'm just gonna put a little thin coat of grease on it, just so everything slides together nicely. And then we'll throw this bottom shaft in. Bottom shaft slides on like that. See, there's kind of a gap here. This top shaft will pull down and we'll install this bolt right here. We'll tighten that up. So we'll pull this upper sh shaft down and we'll get this connected. But one thing you wanna make sure is your steering wheel is nice and straight right where you left off. You know, it was like this. I had it nice and straight before I took the old shaft out. I want it nice and straight when I put the new one in. So nothing is out of a line there. So it looks like we're good. We'll get that connected. So I got the upper shaft pulled down, got my bolt in. The new shaft did not come with a new bolt. So I'm using the old one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just got a little surface rust on it. So we'll get that tightened up. I don't really like how close this spark plug wire is. We'll have to figure out something, move that to the side somehow. But that's it. Tighten everything back up, good to go. So like I said, this is an 06. I'm in upstate New York, a lot of rust, a lot of corrosion. Uh, really didn't take me too long. I think it was roughly 45 minutes. Um, I hope this video helped you out and thanks for watching like and subscribe. I, I want to keep putting out more content like this. Thanks.